Hi, I'm Kim with Magnet. In this video, we will look at how to process evidence using both parsing and carving options in Axiom and Axiom Cyber. In Axiom Process, I've created a new case and added a laptop hard drive as evidence. Taking all the defaults, I'll go down to Artifact Details, where we'll have some options to select our computer artifacts, but then also an option for Parse and Carve Artifacts. If you only parse, your processing time may decrease, but you could miss artifacts that may be embedded in files or in an allocated space. Both parsing and carving will get the most comprehensive amount of artifacts. Don't worry if you don't also carve at this time. You can do it later and we'll look at how to do that in just a moment. Only parsing at this point may be a good option if you're trying to locate artifacts quickly or need some actionable details for your investigation in a timely manner. Just click on through to analyze evidence and then we'll take a look at what this looks like in the case dashboard. Here within the case dashboard, you'll notice that the process method shows parsing only, and we've got the option to select reprocess evidence with carving. Notice that we've got 95,413 artifacts, and I'm gonna go ahead and reprocess this with carving. You get a pop-up that shows you that Axiom process is going to open. Process is launched, and we'll go to our evidence sources. We'll select the same laptop we had before, and we get the option for the computer artifacts, and when I select that, you get the yellow message at the top that says that Axiom can only carve the previously parsed artifacts. You can't modify which artifacts at this time. So if we go on to our parsed and carved artifacts. Now we have the option. There's a third option that's there. It's before we only had the top two, and now the option for us is to carve those parsed artifacts, and it just explains to you that process will carve the artifacts that have already been parsed and that you cannot change that selection at this time. So we'll go on to analyze evidence and click OK and analyze evidence. Now in our case dashboard, you can see on the far right the number of artifacts is over 186,000, so we've got significantly more and our process method says carving only, and in parentheses it says previously parsed. So let's go over into the Artifacts Explorer and take a brief look at some of the differences. I just wanna point out a couple of different artifacts that we have that may help you to understand a bit about parsing and carving. Within Web Related, we have potential browser activity. In potential browser activity, this shows you, really it's just URLs. Any time that Axiom has located a URL, it's going to log them here. And if you see what this recovery method is, it says carving. So whenever we were able to locate a potential URL or a potential uh, browsing activity, uh, we have lo logged that here for you within the Artifacts Explorer. But in this particular method, all of the recovery method is going to be from carving. So a difference would be if we were to look over within our email, and an email looking at, for example, Outlook appointments, that we've got 190 of. If we take a look at the recovery method, it's going to show us that it came from parsing. That was the method to get this artifact. And if you take a closer look, it's going to show you that it came from an Outlook container, that OST file. Just a little example of the artifacts you may get that were coming from parsing and also coming from carving. Hopefully this has been helpful for you to see within Axiom and Axiom Cyber on how to process your evidence by parsing and carving. Thanks for watching.